Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, it's Friday, so happy weekend to you. So, as always, we have a Dollar Tree haul, and oh my gosh, I found some big name brands at Dollar Tree. I was shocked, and some of them I've never heard of before, so I had to look them up, and I'm talking like four and a half, five stars. So I guess we'll go ahead, we'll start with like the name brand finds. Um, okay, this one right here. Y'all, this right here, I've never heard of it, but I looked it up and it has four and a half stars and goes for almost $10. So I think it was like $9.95 on Amazon, but it's called Rooted. Rooted with rituals. <laughs> Rooted rituals, ginger root and aloe. It's a silicone free conditioner safe for color treated hair and believe me at my age i got some color treated hair look right here and this is a big bottle it is 8.4 ounces but like i said i've never heard of it it smells good like it has a really good clean smell to it and so walmart has this for 9.99 and it has four and a half stars and 150 like reviews. So I was excited. So I'm excited to try this. And then I found, um, it's called Christoph, Christoph Professionals Color Extending Shampoo right here. This also is a big name brand, 10 full ounces. Um, I've never heard of this one either. I mean, it smells good. It's just kind of like a basic shampoo, but it, but it doesn't stink. So <laughs> we'll say that it doesn't stink. It just, you know, just like your basic shampoo. But when I look this one up, I mean, they're like prices vary. It's on eBay. It's on Amazon. It's on Walmart. It's everywhere. But I don't know if this is like discontinued, but I'm excited to try this and this together. And I'll let you know what it did to my hair because I can have some dry, dry frizzy hair, so I'll let you know what this does. All right, I also found Glade. Um, it's car air fresheners, but you get three. It's right here, and it's the Hawaiian Breeze. I used to love this. This is what I used to use in our house all the time. So Hawaiian Breeze with car fresheners. And it's a three pack, so I'm gonna take one of these off and it's gonna go out my car. So. One of these is going in my car today. All right, also I found Energizer batteries. Now you only get a two pack, but for $2.50, four Energizer Max batteries, and it's the double A's. So I got these because of all of our LED candles, I'm always replacing batteries. That right there. So Believe, which is the Drew Barrymore makeup, it's back at Dollar Tree. So I found this eyeshadow. See those browns? I always wear like browns. Um, they had this. And they had some lip glosses that I really wanted, but none of them were my color. But I did get this. The brand Trim, they have right here in a little combo pack. You get a fingernail file, a small nail clipper, and then like the little cuticle remover, like for your fingernails. So I thought that was pretty good to find for $1.25. And something like this is great just to throw in your car. Put it in like your glove compartment or your console. That way, if you ever break a nail or something, you got everything you need. All right, I found, I've never seen this. It's um, Q-Tex Nail Polish Remover with their little wipes. Look at that. It's called Swipe and Go. And let's see, how many do you get? You get 10 individually wrapped packets. So if you're like me, when you paint your nails, like you'll go out somewhere and you realize like they're chipping, they look kind of tacky, you could just, you know, clean them up really quick. Look at that. <laughs> I mean the packaging, you know, but look how cute. <laughs> but I mean, that is great, you know, to throw it down in your purse. Um, once again, I'd say your car, but I guess depending on like where you live and what the weather is, because you know, if it's really hot, it's gonna dry it out. But this would be great to keep in your purse. <laughs> all right 
I also found, and I don't know if this was like a sample because of the packaging, but it's CoverGirl, huge name brand. Um, it is, it's a highlighter, a True Blend Super Stunner, Hyper Glow, right there. Um, I love, it looks like a, like it almost looks like a bronzer to me because it's kind of like that brownish. Here, let's open this up. This looks like a really pretty color. Yeah, that is a very, very pretty color. So, that highlighter. And then also this brand, I'm not familiar with it, and I don't even know how to say it. Le Merci, I don't know. <laughs> but it's this packaging right here. So if you see this in Dollar Tree, they have a mascara. It's a volumizing midnight black mascara. Uh, 0.7 full ounces. This right here is some very pretty eyeshadow. Look at those colors. I'm gonna open this up because of the glare, but these colors look really pretty. It's called, the colors is Nude Smoky. Look. See how pretty those colors are. That, and then I found a matte finish setting spray. <laughs> I have never used a setting spray, and I think it's like you spray it on your face I don't know if you do it like before or after you put your makeup on. All right, I've never used this before. I don't know if you do it before or after you do your makeup, but Presley is always like doing makeup and stuff. So she can have this and she may um, be able to tell me what to do with this. So that right there. And this is one fluid ounce. Oh, and then I found this right here. Um, the brand is called Power Socks. It's a double, it's wristbands. Regular $3.49, wherever it's sold at. But, now honestly, this is like for like playing sports. But my thought for this was, like, um, like when you're washing your face or something at night. Just, uh, I cannot stand for my sleeves to get wet. So I'm constantly like, like pulling my sleeves up or just like the water run down. And that's like one of my pet peeves. I can't stand to be wet once I'm like dressed. <laughs> Like wet socks, I can't stand any of that. Like wet sleeves, I can't stand it. It just drives me crazy. So I thought with these, yeah, all right, look, see, it's a two pack. So my thought was you could put these on right here, and this may sound silly, but for $1.25, I'm gonna do it. Let's click on my ring. Like you would put these on, protect whatever shirt you're wearing, then you can wash your face, do whatever, do your makeup, and only this will get wet. And then when you're done, you just pull these off. And they can just sit and dry. Or you can throw them in the dryer. But <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. So I got those. And then also kind of to go with that, I found, look how cute this is. It's a shower headband. They had leopard in this really pretty pink and white polka dot. But once again, this is like when you're going to wash your face or... But once again, this is like if you're going to wash your face or do your makeup and you want to keep your hair back, you can put this on. Okay. <laughs> I feel like a little kid <laughs> with the big old bubbles on their head. Oh, that is so tight. And I don't have a big head. I've got a little head, but this sucker is tight. But... <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like a squeeze in my brain. Anyways, you would do this, you wash your face, do your makeup. I can't, ooh, no. And I got one for Presley, and she can be wear this, cause her head's bigger than mine. But I like the idea of these, but whew. Unless you've got a little pea head, this is tight. All right, moving on from that. I grabbed another one of these red baskets right here with the hearts cut out. It's like got the scalloped edging. And then all the hearts. I needed this for a Valentine's Day gift. So that right there. I found some St. Patrick's Day ribbons, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. I love that. It's got like the brown, almost like a burlap kind of look to it with the shamrocks. That right there. They also had like a white background with the shamrocks. And then this one right here, 
um, just says St. Patrick's Day all over it. Y'all, Dollar Tree has really stepped up their St. Patrick's Day stuff, and I'm loving it. I also grabbed these really cute, colorful St. Patrick's Day socks. I love that it's got the rainbow on it. It's got like the little the leprechaun hat. You got your pot of gold. There's a clover right there. And their knee socks. And look. <laughs> look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. Those are adorable. And I got these for Presley. Because um, I mentioned before, she wears leggings and Crocs. And she loves to wear like fuzzy and cute socks with them. So I thought these would be cute for like St. Patrick's Day. I found, look at this little wire basket. I don't know if you can tell, but look. It's just a little black wire basket. I love it. This is very like farmhouse decor to me. You could decorate with this. I mean, obviously it's a basket, do whatever you want with it, but you could like really turn this into like a centerpiece. You could put just like some greenery in here. You could do like some eggs, like some faux eggs, like for Easter, like a farmhouse decor. But you could also use it almost like a cloche. <laughs> I can't tell if you can like see what this is or not. But, I mean, I would say a basket. But you could also turn it upside down and use it as like it's a cloche for something. You know, like find the right size plate for it. And then you could decorate the inside. Add you a cute little finial or something up here. One of the little rabbits from Dollar Tree. Those little like white paintable rabbits that they have. You could put that on the top. All right, so this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. I just want to make it like a great day. Like we're gonna uh, put, we're gonna smoke some stuff out on the smoker. We're gonna make some dips and just kind of like make a day of it. So I thought, so I thought it'd be fun to like do some crafts and decorate for it. So I got this vase. This is just a basic vase from Dollar Tree, and I also got one of the little foam footballs from the toy section. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like hot glue this football on here and we're gonna paint it, like spray paint it to make it look like a trophy. So we're gonna have this sitting out. I got a green tablecloth for like the football field. Some yellow napkins. That way it's like the penalty flags. I got some little chalkboards and stuff that I'm gonna write up and do like little game plays on. So I'm excited to kind of like make it fun. I, I got some more St. Patrick's Day buns. They have a felt garland, which is a clover and pom-poms. Look at that. Look how cute. I'm gonna show you in a second. They also had this one, which is a rainbow in horseshoes. And then they had this one, which is like the leprechaun hat and pom-poms. All right, so my thought was, you know, just get one, decorate with it. But another, you know, obviously pick whichever one your favorite is, or you can get them, put them together, and do like a garland like this. Like hang a shamrock, a rainbow, a hat. Shamrock, rainbow, hat, and just keep rotating. And that would be really cute and festive. I love it. Because I don't really care for this one just by itself, but I think if you like mixed it in with like the hats or these little clovers, I think that would be really, really cute. And I love it. I love that they're felt. And, okay, look at this. I mean, just look. Look how cute. Yeah. I think it's great that Dollar Tree is giving us all of these options for $1.25. And yes, everything in my hauls is always $1.25 because I do not have any bonus stores or, or, plus, or plus stores. But, you know, just adding, you know, just this. Say you're a Dollar Tree and you only want to buy one thing. Get you a little garland, you know. Decorate if you've got a mantle or like your console table or like our front door or something. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is six feet long. So all of them are six feet long. <laughs> I grabbed this red spatula. And look at that. So it's like a twofer. You get the spatula and a red heart cookie cutter. This is something they have year round, but like my mind right now, of course, is thinking Valentine's Day. 
So this would be so cute, like in your kitchen, just pop this down into like a crock or something on your counter. And just, once again, an inexpensive way to decorate for Valentine's Day. All right, y'all, they brought this ribbon back from last year and it's called, it's floral garden. It's called mesh ribbon, but here's what it looks like. Look at that. I'm gonna open this up so that you can see it. They also had it in a green color. I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't grab the green. I just was thinking I wanted this one, but I'll probably grab the green one if I see it again. All right, I can open this. Yeah, look, that is what it looks like. You can add this to any ribbon bundle that you are making, any wreath that you are making. This will look great added to it, especially for spring and Easter. And that's why I should have grabbed the green. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't grab the green. All right, y'all, I have a couple Easter finds. So they brought these back from last year, but they were hard to find last year because they sold out. But look, they're back. Look at this adorable, seriously, one of the cutest things they've had. Look at this adorable Easter sign. And the greatest thing, the rabbits with the ears have little pom-poms, like little cotton tails. I love it. I'm in its stands. It's got the little stand right here. So they had the pastel colors. And then they also had the really bright colors. I love them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are going to be so cute. Um, I am gonna have one down here and I'm going to put one up in the game room. So I love these. Ooh, the carrot picks are back and these are great. Look at those. You get a two pack, but look how big these carrots are and they're on a little, little pick. You can add this to any arrangement or wreath or break the little stick off and just put it like in a basket or something. Like this little black basket, put some greenery down in there, put these carrots in here. You could um, add some eggs to it or something. That would be really cute. They have, brand new this year, amazing, it's called trim packs. But y'all, look. All right, purple, my favorite color. You've got Rick Rack, you've got Pom Poms, and then you have Happy Easter. All right, so I'm curious what this looks like really quick. Uh, right there. All right, let me cover up my face. Say, Happy Easter. Once again, you get the Rick Rack, the little Pom Poms. All right, the pink one, I love pink. Look at that. You've got the Rick Rack. You've got pom-poms and these little like gingham bunny rabbits. <laughs> I can't figure out how to start it. All right, I finally got it. Look right here. Look at those adorable gingham little bunny rabbits. Look, so cute. All right, then they had orange. Look. You get orange rick rack, orange pom poms, and then it's carrots. So, <laughs> I gotta open this up. Dollar Tree in the holidays is my favorite time. I love it. Look. Look at those adorable, I'm trying to cover up my eyes. Look at those carrots. How great is that right there? They're so cute. They're just little like felt. I so love that. And then my favorite, because it's a chick. Y'all, and those of you that's been with me for a long time, my mom always called me Chick. That was my nickname, <laughs> was Chick. So every time she would call or I'd see her, she'd be like, hey, Chick. So I'm a sucker for chicks. <laughs> I mean, I call Presley Chick, I call Bailey Chick. It's just Chick. I got this one. You get the yellow Rick Rack, the yellow pom poms, and I cannot wait to see these little chicks up close. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. Look. <laughs> I love them. Oh my goodness. I think I need about one more just to kind of keep. But look, 
Because I know my craft with them. I mean, I'm cutting them up. But that is so cute. Uh, and it doesn't say... Oh, yes, it does. So basically, each one, each each section, you get one yard. So you're getting one yard of the rickrack, one yard of whatever the little design is, and one yard of pom-poms, which is, what, three feet? All right, I found the prettiest new little, like, vase container you see that? But what I love about it, it's got the milk glass. Is that what it's called? Like the little bumps? <laughs> is it milk? No. What are these little bumps called? Ah, uh, shoot. I don't know. There's hobnob. Hobnob. Hobnail. Hob <laughs> hobnail. <laughs> I think it's called hobnail. Anyways, look. Do you see how pretty this is? It's got like the hobnail, those little bumps. It goes all the way around it. And at the bottom, the edging is also those little bumps. And it has some kind of little design. There's some little like imprint, some little design right here. I can't really tell what that is, but it's got the little cork. You can take that out. The little, um, little twine, the little jute twine is kind of like tied around it. You can take that off, but I thought this would be really cute. It's like a little vase. Just pop that out of there. You can always take that off. And this would be so pretty and dainty. I think it's very like feminine, kind of dainty looking. Just has like some piece of like greenery coming out of it, a flower or two coming out of it. And you could decorate any shelf with this, any tier tray with it, um, your console table, wherever. But I just thought that was great. All right, I found another brand new St. Patrick's Day find. They had a wood bead garland. Look at that right there. So I got the one, it's a shamrock that says lucky. I love it. I think they also had one with a gnome and maybe a hat. I think there was a gnome and a hat. I just got this one because I didn't need all of those. The end, you've got your jute twine. The end, you got like your twine and this really cute little green. Is that flowers? Those got little clovers. That little ribbon, it's white with little green clovers all over it. So, how cute! I love it! Yo, when you're decorating, obviously to your tray, if you do like your coffee table, you could have this like, um, if you have like some books stacked like with your names on it, you could have this kind of like laying on top of it and then on your coffee table. Like a vase, <laughs> a bigger vase, not this little thing, but like a bigger vase. You can always wrap it around and do something like that. Obviously on a bigger vase, but look, you can do that. All right, I found some brand new, beautiful, I love these bags. And it's the, um, the, and it's like that, that hard plasticky kind of material. Um, polypropylene? Yeah, whatever that is. But you know, it's those bags that they always have. Look how big and pretty this bag is. It's got like the butterflies all over it. These make great <laughs> storage. Oh my gosh, I like all this stuff right here until I'm ready for it. I can put down in one of these bags. It makes great gift bags. Um, if you're going to someone's house, like, for the holidays or to kind of visit, you got to take some stuff with you, put down in these bags. I got that one. This one right here is gorgeous. Look. See all those bright, beautiful spring flowers? I love this one. And then this one right here is gonna be a lot of people's favorite. <laughs> you got the lemons. So you got beautiful lemons over here in this really pretty like blue, almost like a towel kind of pattern. I love it. These bags are so pretty and nice. I'm telling you, this bag, look. I mean, look down inside there, look how big it is. This bag, it's huge. Seriously, this is great for storage. All right, so I know some people like to know the sides. 
That's like that really pretty blue color. This one right here is just a really pretty like lighter blue. And then the butterflies is a dark navy blue. I grabbed some pretty flowers. I don't know if these are new or not, but they've really caught my eye because they were hanging up top and like cascading down. Look, look at these beautiful bright yellow flowers. All right, and you get, this is one stem and look how long this stem is. Oh my gosh. But what I love about it, you can like bend this and have that kind of like cascading down. You can bend that and just put a bunch together and just kind of like separate them all out. And then look how pretty. And then look how full and pretty that is. I love it. And what you could do is you get one of these, you could cut off some of these stems and have it put down into this little vase. I think that would be really pretty too. Look, <laughs> I just kind of try to bend this really quick. But yeah, look that pretty little dainty vase and then just like some of these pretty yellow flowers coming out of it. I mean, obviously we need to be like trimmed up. But look how pretty. All right, and then, oh my gosh, I found these. I could not find these last year. Once again, they always sold out. The bunny legs. <laughs> the bunny legs are back. Y'all, I'm so excited for these. I could not get these last year. They kept selling out. Um, it's called a bunny paw pick, but to me it's more of like legs. Look at that. Look how cute these are. You have this really pretty like, is that like a teal? A really pretty like teal color. Really pretty pink. But I'm going to show you what you can do with these. So I know sometimes people look at this stuff and they're not sure what to do with it. I'm going to show you something really cute. Take your your little legs, greenery, whatever greenery, whatever plant you have around the house. I always have like some purple, some lavender, which is my favorite color. I've always had, I always have stuff like this sitting around the house. So take this. So I can take my plant and add these little legs to it. How cute, seriously. Um. Seriously, how cute is that? You know, a plant I always have sitting around here. <laughs> you know, just put some little legs like the Easter Bunny fell in there. So cute. Now, a lot of times people do like the little bunny butt, you know, the little pom-pom tail, which I love. It is adorable. But this is just something different that you can do. So, but all right, that is it. Now, if any of you have ever tried one of these like shampoo or conditioners, let me know what you thought about it. Cause I'm really curious. Cause if this stuff is good, I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> I need to wash my hair anyways, but I'm just really curious like what your thoughts are. Um, like I said, if you've tried it before. But, all right, I hope that you have a wonderful day, a great weekend. And of course, Sunday, like I said, is Super Bowl. So my favorite part is the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Especially like when our team isn't in it, you know, you can kind of like relax and you're not stressed out about a winning. But I love the commercials. I love the commercials and the food. So I'm looking forward to that. And like I said, just some cute little crafting that I'm going to do for it. And I may, I may have a haul on Sunday because like, you know, for those of you that don't care about watching the football game, you may have a haul from me on Sunday. But all right. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, I forgot to mention that this is my second video that I posted today. Um, we just did the vintage Valentine's Day garland and three other vintage Valentine's Day crafts. It was supposed to post, it was supposed to post yet. It was supposed to be posted on, it was supposed It was supposed to post. <laughs> Y'all, I've tried to say this four times. It won't come out right. It was supposed to post yesterday, but it took hours. And finally, I just had to like stop it and just redo it today. So it uploaded today, like around 12 o'clock. So it is up there. The vintage, the, um, the Valentine's Day garland, and then also some other crafts that we did that are adorable. 
So, um, so if you have not seen that yet, be sure to check it out.